Hey everybody, this is Rido and we're back to Hearthstone. So let's work on the priest and warlock runs, uh, ranked runs, I guess. Again, just trying to. We'll try priest. Well, we'll try warlock. Because priest is at 60, there's really no reason to play him if we can win on with a warlock, which maybe we can't. So I've got a whole list of things here. Some of which are out of order. Let's talk about one here that I know is going to be separate from everything else. Gulda Nintendo Hardware sales have you asked for been it. leaked out by somebody. Shall be mine. I saw this article. I don't know if any of it's true or not, but whatever. Uh, we'll just take it as it's truth, like most people who read news articles. <laughs> Uh, I am not immune from that. I will read a news article from one source and not check sources. Often you'll get uh, the big newspapers will say their sources are secret, so you have to trust the big news that they're not lying anyways. But according to this, Nintendo's hardware sales are really, really low. Lower than what you might expect and you, you probably weren't expecting much in the terms of the uh, 3DS and the Wii U but for comparison Someday the I'll Wii like was you. super popular and really really popular we sold more by 10 20 million than the Then you are not the boss of me. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm zooming out here. Focus, focus, right there, folks. Like the Wii, the NES, I, I think I don't have it written. That was like 20 million units, and then the Super NES was like 30 million units. Uh, and then the N64 was was about 20 million units. So they, they kind of go between 20 and 30 for the, the heyday. The GameCube was was not a, a great seller. Uh, but then the Wii was a huge success and sold 48.64 million units. In comparison, the Wii U has sold 6.29 million. You're talking 1.6 there. Like one sixth, one fifth of the sales of the Wii. Certainly understandable. There's been no games for the Wii U worth buying, except for Bayonetta 2, uh, in my mind. That's the only one I can even think of. Uh, there was that zombie game for the Wii U that now is on PC, and even though it's a poor uh, port, I, I still probably would prefer to play it on PC as a poor poor port than anything else. Uh, I wonder... I don't know how to solve this problem, so I'm gonna do this. And then... So yeah, there's just been no third-party software support for, for Wii games, even, really. We had some early support, but it, it's all been abandoned now. And you could probably say that 42 million sales on the, from the Wii to the Wii U. I, I, I bet for those 42 million sales did directly get shifted into the Xbox realm, the PlayStation 4 realm, and in a very small fraction where they got the PC. Um, I wish I had gone to PC after the Wii, really, but no, I went to the 360, so there's my perspective on it. Probably got a watch and learn. Hopefully, we'll succeed. In comparison, similar, the, I don't remember the numbers for the Game Boy and the Game Boy SP. We have many and secrets. It's kind of hard to even know what you mentally would draw the line there because there's a Game Boy, the Game Boy Color, Game Boy, Game Boy SP, 
there is the DS and then there was the 3DS. And the Game Boy itself had, had been just going around. Uh, so there's a whole lot of stuff going on there. But in comparison, the DS, which I guess is a was a pretty popular thing. I, I was too old for really the DS. Uh, didn't play a lot of games on it. I, I think I got one. But the DS sold 59.3 million copies. Now take a moment to notice here. The DS has a full 11 million more units sold than the Wii. But I bet you the DS is a lot cheaper than the Wii was in most of its formats. So they probably made a lot more money on the Wii, unless it also cost more to build, which is possible. Uh, Behold, so, that is something to consider. Now, for the 3DS, it's not quite as bad, because the 3DS idea, at least, on paper sounds cool, and it's still a portable con console, and getting portable consoles for kids for a long time was a necessity to keep them busy. What to do? The what to 3DS do? has sold 20.11 million units. So that is about a third of the sales of the DS. That is almost, I would direct most of that to the fact that the DS is probably still in circulation for a lot of families. And, uh, in the grand tournament, you win or you die. Yeah, I... good. Uh, Wow, that was an ama amazing card here. When you draw something from your hero power, it costs zero. This is a great card for a warlock. <laughs> uh. Not again. So, the other part on the 3DS is I'm sitting here zoning out again, uh, playing the game. I'm trying to play the game and me, but at the same time it's a little hard, particularly with numbers in front of me. I guess I could hold it in front of me, but it still doesn't really help anything. I was listening to two YouTube videos at the same time, just the same time. I'm so far behind still that, that I'm on that level. Well, this only I'm gonna works play this, the and then play this, and draw this. Job done. And then the turn. If she doesn't kill this one, Yogg, it will be so much better. Uh, the 3DS, as far as be software titles. Like I don't know how many people really are going to try to make third-party um, software for the 3DS. Anyways, it seems kind of silly. Now, any damage here, I'm protected there. Not anymore, darn it. Now, every time I cast a spell, that thing's going to get increased in its damage. Well, that didn't help me that much. <laughs> I guess I didn't cast that many spells. Uh, again, a perfect example of why Yogg's are in, in a bad player's hands. Not very helpful. I'd only cast five spells, and those five spells didn't do much. Uh, yeah, now that we're on to cell phone games, and frankly, I think we're even mm. getting to the point where we're starting to even get away from cell phone games. And, and back to more PC games and just regular games. I mean, cell phone games will always exist, but I don't think they're ever going to be a big deal. I'm playing Clash of Clans here, and it's it's fine. 
and I'm still playing Adventure Time after I, I hacked wonder. it and I still haven't made all the progress I lost back. Then I'm playing Pocket Morbies, which, uh, in that element, well, Hellfire won't work. One damage to all other characters, spell damage. The truth is in here! I'm gonna lose. Uh, so yeah, I don't think cell phone games are gonna be super important. I am still playing Pocket Mortys, but not. Uh, I'm gonna get bored of it pretty soon, and I just want to finish the main story, which seems doable. Uh, I got rid of what was it called? The clicker game. Where you blow up, you blow up the world. Let's try this. But Doomsday Clicker was what it was called. That one was a very greedy game, and it stopped giving me any progress. So I was just done with it at this level. So, that really sucks for Nintendo that their sales are so low. Maybe they'll start putting their games on PC. That would be my ideal solution there. Um, let's so attack here. And then got something better to do. Um, out of nowhere, moving on to the next story, out of nowhere, a Bullet Storm remaster is coming in 2017. 2017, next year, a few months in theory, and it is getting released by Gearbox. <laughs> this is kind of a spit take inducing jaw dropping revelation for a couple of reasons. Bulletstorm was not made by Gearbox. Gearbox wants to get into more publishing, and uh, the fact no that they are working on this here, as I lose, tells me that Borderlands 3 is still not is has not been really worked on. Anymore. Because they're still hiring for that Gearbox Montreal. So unless that, unless it becomes a revelation that the uh, that there really wasn't any work done on it by Gearbox and they're just Gul'dan publishing it, which Valera. is a possibility and that would make sense, what? then that yeah. would be a little bit better to hear. Your soul but, shall be mine! I don't know. Also, Randy Pitchford was on Twitter saying that where a rumor was going around saying his Battleborn was going free to play and that is not the case, that they're thinking about in several months adding some other feature that is kind of like a demo. Yeah, I think that's what he said. It was a demo, and that might be where the confusion is coming from. All right. Why he's talking about any of that, I don't know. I mean, the proper response is we don't comment on speculation or rumor. Uh, when we have an official announcement, we'll give it to you. Uh, that's all I need to say. And this is a great opportunity to 
for me to personally see if Randy Pitchford is the the duplicitous liar the that is in I've here. heard people claim he is if, he come, if it comes back in a few months and Battleborn does go free to play which honestly again if it did go free to play that's not probably a bad move on them but let's get back to Bulletstorm the other reason why Bulletstorm getting a re-release at all makes no sense is that story is insanely filthy it is the um, Quentin Tarantino dialogue that you certainly wouldn't expect in video games. And pretty childish dialogue too. I'll find it. So the story, the game itself, there really was nothing wrong with the game. It was this uh, you were mercenaries, you were running around, you were trying, you, you had a bunch of, like, abilities, you had this electronic lash that you could get people and throw them up in the air and then time would slow down and you'd shoot them. Some really cool looking gameplay, it was pretty fun to play, the, the game kind of falls apart in the middle, I think at some point you're fighting a giant robotic dinosaur. Uh, the, it's just their comedy and the dialogue on it is so bad so unless they're going to rewrite the whole story to something different I don't think anybody wanted to oh, see yeah. Bullet Storm but it, it's really strange that it's getting a remaster it, I think also came out at potentially the wrong time that is certainly that. So you know, he is no longer spectating me because he simply had a watch and learn quest. That's the only reason why anybody is going to spectate me, I would guess. Um, unless they really just wanted to watch me Gul'dan play. Um, Jaina. You so asked for that it. one is Your just out of nowhere. I, I'm a little iffy on these remasters too. It feels like a lot of things are getting remasters. Particularly just because I want to get them on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Uh, PlayStation 4 Pro and Project Scorpio are going to come out. Are we going to get a bunch of remasters of old games on that again? Uh, I, it's, it's a weird position certainly for the video game industry to, to say we've got these 10 year old games now. Bioshock is almost 10 years old and I remember when Bioshock first came out. And then, so, they've got all these game libraries, they want to remaster them as best as they can, they don't want to spend too much money on it, so a lot of times the remasters are crashy, like, like Bioshock Remastered. Uh, but, this stuff can't go on forever, certainly. Uh, Job done. After a while, we're, we want new games and we're not seeing a lot of new games which that moves nicely like into the you. fact that what? Assassin's Creed and Far Cry may not come out in 2017. They have announced that we're gonna put that Ubisoft has announced they're gonna put more polish on it. Uh, but the point that might also be the issue why so Ubisoft is doing this is one that is a little less recognizable and that Make is sure a good time. the fact that oh. Vivendi is attempting to buy out or at least own a lot of Ubisoft. It, I'm not I'm sure if Vivendi has ever actually come out and said they specifically want to own Ubisoft, but they're buying their stocks, and there's French, lo French laws that say if they own a majority share, they, they are then forced to make a hostile takeover. Why there's a French law that says that? I don't know. Why can't you just own the majority share and just My ask for tear you uh, and just be a silent style owner, I don't know, but Let the apparently it's good. So, 
Ubisoft has been trying to fight this off. Uh, there's two, I think they're called the Gelb Tormas or Gelma brothers that started uh, Ubisoft and the, they don't want to lose control of it. All uh, all and, and they recently had their shareholder meeting and Vivendi did nothing, really. The only thing they did is they voted by by proxy, basically, for the annual shareholders meeting to not give stock options to the employees, uh, which effectively they were they were probably yeah, trying to give stock me. options to the employees this to only works on the ensure end. that Vivendi didn't uh, have a majority share. So again, it's just a Job's done. poison pill concept. Uh, it, it's not quite the poison pill, but uh, because the poison pill means something else, but they're certainly trying to fend off. But they did not vote to put up as many as two members of, the, of, of who they pick on the board. So it seems like Ubisoft is in a pretty good position right now. Deal one to all other characters. If I do that, then that would be a lot of damage. Let's do this. And then do Whoops. this. Well done. All she needs is a five spell and she Finally, a second chance. But Amazing. So, it looks like Ubisoft is uh, is safe until at least the next annual board meeting, uh, unless. Vivini could get a majority share and force an emergency board meeting to come together and in that emergency board meeting force their votes to come about. Uh, corporations in general are actually pretty solid against hostile takeovers and Good that's why they don't particularly succeed as, as often as you hear about me as far as I understand it uh, also as part of that though it might also be worth mentioning that Ubisoft bought the company that makes the uh, game 2048 which is a threes clone so the original game was threes and 248 is that and this company just pumps out tons of cell phone games. Again, was this them investing and spending money to make themselves look bad? Or was this them investing and spending uh, money to break into a new market that they would almost certainly love to be in? Uh, you are not the boss of me! So, that is another thing to just keep in mind. So, Ubisoft has been busy. Now, in general, I shouldn't hate a company as a video game critic. But Ubisoft is one of the most prevalent publishers of garbage and buggy games. And so... It would be easy to dance on their grave and say, yay, get rid of them and all that. But then you also have to look at Vivendi. Vivendi Universal is part of this mega corporation that owns music industries, movie industries, and everything else. They are clearly one of the major violators of the content ID system and fight against fair use. Now, I would not put them as bad as... Sony Music Group or Universal Music Group or uh, WB 
which I have had actual dealings with and know that they do not respect fair use at all and they put in false content ID claims all, all the time and affirm false content ID claims even though I dispute them. I've never had that with Vivendi, probably because there isn't that many Vivendi music pieces in games. However, that would absolutely change if all of a sudden we had, uh, they had, uh, Chaos! uh, they had stake in Ubisoft. You would start seeing Vivendi music show up in all kinds of Ubisoft games, and then I'd start seeing a bunch of content on Ubisoft games. Almost certain. Like uh, so, more things to definitely consider. Hmm. Let's see how, about, how long have we been going on the set. Uh, let's move on with some of the other ones. Uh, last time I talked about Portal getting a fire, uh, a film adaptation potentially. Now this time I'm gonna talk about uh, Behold, about Firewatch is getting a film a adaptation. I think Firewatch is actually been approved and is actually going to happen, whereas the Portal one you want is speculation I want because JJ Abrams is meeting with Valve. Uh, now, I have no idea, having not even really played Firewatch and barely understanding the, uh, character, the, the story, I imagine it could easily turn into a situation where just the general concept of somebody being in a Firewatch Tower for one summer and having this conversation with a co-worker and all these dialogues that could be a cheap movie style movie and do quite a lot of this. That was a lot of cards she just played. Let's see. But, yeah. I have no idea if it's really going to follow, follow the story or not. I guess you could potentially just take the story from the game and then you've got I your script right there, the but you still got to put Lord. dialogue in there, you still got to do all of this. Uh, movie actors don't impromptu, they're not impromptu actors. They're not gonna. They're not trained to do that, they don't know how to do it. Do you have so, the artifact? So you still have to write more dialogue than what was in the game, so, uh, for that. We're going a little long here. Mafia 3. Mafia 3 is trying to advertise this game. I, I don't know what Mafia 2 or 1 was. I don't know if they were always sleazy, just kind of Grand Theft Auto try attempts at clones. Uh, that that is certainly what the selling point of Grand Theft Auto always was, though was uh, uh, the truth is in here. Oops, I guess I should have played the other card. Uh, I didn't read that well enough. Get back! So the, they're trying to promote this card. Well, not the card, the, the video. And I know in Mafia 3 you play as this African American guy who is trying to get revenge against the Mafia and at some point you work with this African American woman and to promote it I, I think they had the voice actor and maybe face model of it, maybe the same person for both, maybe a different person, maybe just a face model. So to promote it, to they do. had her do what a Playboy do. style cover of, uh, I don't, it says Playboy on it, so it must actually be an actual Playboy cover, whether it was actually just a digital cover or what. And it being the cover of Playboy and Playboy now trying to be more family friendly than ever before, 
it doesn't actually show anything. She's wearing like a oh, looks like a uh -huh. army jacket and showing on the side of her legs and uh -huh. some small bit of cleavage. And she is naked besides army jacket, but contorted in such a way that you can't see anything. And that with the fact that they They've got this concept of, Tonight, of the main character of Mafia 3 show, throwing a voodoo doll and it, it terrifying the mobsters. Uh, just shows to me that whatever they're going for seems to be not much. It seems like they're trying to stir up controversy. Uh, it's going to obviously be an M rated game. Aha. So I can't really. Too upset that they're, they're going with the the Playboy cover advertising uh -huh. thing, but when's the last uh -huh. time anybody used Playboy covers or nudity to sell a video game in that fashion? And certainly, it's been uh -huh. used, uh, but not uh -huh. trying to make it appeal to a very strange audience. I don't know how many video games are actively read Playboy. Playboy is almost certainly for very old people that have been getting it for years. Uh, I think the young kids know that porn exists on the internet and they can get much more interesting and extreme stuff. So I, I just don't know what their arg audience is. I don't know what they're trying to sell. I don't know how good the game is. And good that makes that puts me with a good list of stuff to talk about in the next recording. Unfortunately, I still need to make some progress and I, I feel like this Paladin and Warrior victories are not going to get collected, so we'll try to get this done with casual play next recording. But overall, we're doing too pretty good. I'm glad to go through this recording session so far and not be irritated it makes a huge difference when you have a, a nice long list of things to talk about and it hasn't just been dead news all week anywho that's it for this recording as always i ask you to like share subscribe comment if you want to and watch every second of my videos all that helps out if you want to support me further you can click on my name right up on the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want a friend to follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.